Good morning all, my name is Tenali. If you guys are new to my channel and we are back with a new home reno vlog and this one's going to be probably the most transformative. I mean, honestly, every little thing like adds up to make this house even better, but we are doing the floors today and I wanted to take you guys through a lot of the process. I am personally not laying down the floors because I just don't trust myself and we spent a lot of money on these floors so I don't wanna like waste planks by doing it myself. So we did hire some guys and if you guys are in the Austin area and you want these guys info, just like DM me on Instagram or something. Thing. Um, but it's happening today. I've been waiting for this day literally the day I closed on this house. Probably the day I saw this house. I was like, first thing that we need, definitely need to do is remove all the carpet, remove all the like the vinyl planking, and put really nice like engineered hardwood. I think that's what I got. If you saw my closing day vlog, you already know which one I picked. And I feel like you can't really tell much from that small of a sample. So I'll show you guys a couple of the planks. First of all, let's just appreciate this light because the past few days it's been so gloomy here. And I was worried that when the floors were put in, we wouldn't be able to see it in like the sunlight just because it's so pretty in this house, just all the natural light. So I'm very excited that today will be hopefully somewhat sunny. But these are the planks that I got. The brand is Malibu Wide Plank and they're sold at Home Depot. They're engineered hardwood flooring. So it says here you can float glue or staple down, but my flooring guys said that it's probably best to just glue it down. And transparently that added about a thousand plus more dollars just to buy the glue itself. So that was kind of annoying, but obviously I want to do what's best and I don't want to have them like sliding around if they're not glued down. So we're just going to do it. And this is what they look like on the floor right here. It's kind of just like this warm, lighter oak vibe. And we're going to do more of a simple baseboard. I'll try to put a picture in of what the baseboards used to look like. They had a ton of bumps and they just looked very you know, outdated, so we want to make it a little bit more modern in here. Sophie, are you excited? It's floor day! So it's this thick, and it actually like clicks in. That's why it's called tongue and groove, because the other plank will kind of have like this little puzzle piece and just kind of click in there. So again, you can float it, but we are gluing down these bad boys. And also here's the baseboards we went with. I think this is like the inside, but basically it's just like flat all around, so it just looks a little bit more updated. It's currently Tuesday and they came on Saturday to self-level the floors, which of course that added on an additional amount, but they did highly recommend it and I know it's optional, so hopefully you wouldn't have to do that. They're also going to install the planks on the stairs, so it's just going to look so freaking pretty and I'm hoping to get some kind of like an outfit mirror here because I just think stairs in the back looks so cute. I paid for delivery from Home Depot and they <laughs> put it outside of in our house rain. in the rain, so I wasn't even here. <laughs> And like, there's a lot of boxes in there, so that was really annoying because... You have 67 boxes? Yeah, Ryan and Mimo had to carry them all in and I felt really, really bad. But, thank you. Ryan's been putting in some work. You also laid them out and looked good, so yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, I showed them. You know which way we're gonna go? Um, oh, that's what we have to decide on, because um, he called me, Miss Brenda, and he asked that, which way do you want it to go? the right way. That's what I asked. I was like, what do you think? And he was like, it's preference. And I was like, just help me. Just, just make the decision for me. Well, he said, I think um, usually people put it door to door. But he was like, if you want, we could do wall to wall. But I don't know. I just want it to be, I want it to look good. So I don't know. <laughs> Basically what we're talking about is like which way the planks face. So this is our door right here. And the floor guy was like, usually people do like planks to the door like that, right? Mm -hmm. And then this would be like wall, wall to wall. So I feel like that's a big decision and I just don't know. Wanted to match the stairs upstairs. So it has to go this way. Yeah, I guess downstairs would look weird if it was. five right now but I think they should be leaving soon so we're gonna go over and check it out I'm so freaking excited to see it all being done like I saw a little part but I think you know obviously to see all of it being done is gonna be so much different I also just kind of went through my closet and started to declutter because today it really hit me that we're actually moving I feel like I've been so wrapped up in renovations and decisions that I didn't even think about moving and I haven't really packed up anything so 
I started decluttering my closet and I added some things to my Poshmark and I just wanted to quickly show you guys. Um, this is a wedding guest dress and I'm very sad to be parting ways with it but I feel like I've worn it enough. It needs to go to another home but it's so flattering. I am a size large, size 10, 5'3", so just so you guys know. And then this is a beautiful dress from Fabric. Fabric? I don't know how you say it but I wore it for Thanksgiving. It's literally the perfect Thanksgiving dress. So is this one because it's so flowy and long and just really pretty like high neck. Then I also have some sweaters and some long sleeves listed, so perfect for fall. It's really cool because Poshmark just joined the Like to Know It family so I can list all my Poshmark listings on my Like to Know It profile. So everything's gonna be linked over there and I'll link it in the description box below. Here's our master bedroom. Pretty much all of the wood floor is in except for down there in the closet, but guys, look how freaking good this looks. I am so excited to see all of the furniture in here. And now I'm kind of stressing out about what furniture we need, especially in this little area, like the sitting area. I'm really not trying to rush anything because I want to like actually love it. So we're taking it slow, but I have been looking at bed frames and nightstands. They also got like, is it all done here? Yeah. So that first shipment had about 1500 boxes no, <laughs> 1,500 square feet of the wood floors. And so they were able to do pretty much this whole like loft area and a little bit in Brian's office and my office. And the other shipment actually just got here like two hours ago. They also need to do the stairs still. But look how freaking good it looks. This is what it would look like on the stairs. So very excited for those to be done. And they're coming back tomorrow in the morning to finish up. Lots of stuff is getting done. And Mimo is working on running the cable for the TV. Because I think we're going to put it here. And we just want it to be like hidden behind the TV. So he ran it from our, our closet, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All the way down. That way it's going to be super nice. No cords hanging out anywhere. It has been so disgusting here in Austin. But now we're finally getting some sun. And Sophie has found her new sunspot <laughs> right there. You've been laying there, huh? So we had to cut the plywood open and then fish the wires through the, all that. It's crazy. It's a good thing they didn't put the wood floors in here just yet. Yeah. So there was an outlet there. That's how he was able to do this because right down there is the fireplace. Good morning y'all, it is Sunday, October 29th, and this weekend we had some visitors come in town, so we had to take a little bit of a break from um, doing house stuff, but we are back in action. It's super early because we had to drop them off at the airport, um, and we are back at Home Depot once again. I feel like we're either at Home Depot once a day or Lowe's once a day. The floors are officially all done. Today we are going to get some stain for the stairs because we had to put an end cap, and the end cap is like raw wood so we have to stain it to match the stairs so we have our samples with us to see if they can give us a really good match um and then we are going to pick up some like putty for the baseboards they're going to be probably get done today being put down today um we need to pick up paint for the baseboards um and a bunch of other random stuff like electrical boxes. I think Mimo's gonna try to get all the electrical done within the next two days, which is the recessed lighting and like all the outlets. Cause I think I want him to put in new outlets in the bedroom, in the garage, and possibly like the butler's pantry area. Because I was talking to the custom cabinetry people and they were saying like if I want a microwave in there, they would have to like run electrical and like put an outlet. But I was like, okay, me Mo's already here doing that. Like I'll just go ahead and have him do that. And then I don't know when the butler pantry thing's gonna happen, but like we can do that at a later date, but just have the outlet ready to go in there. Um, so I think we need to buy like a couple things for all of that. I'm hoping today is gonna be a very productive day. Obviously it's Sunday, so Ryan is off of work and I'm free. So it's all hands on deck, meaning we are going to get shit done today. Um, um, but other than that, we had a really good Halloween weekend. My senior year college roommate Tiffany came to visit with her new fiance and we took them to all of our favorite food places and they're such foodies too, so it was really fun. And we went to Sushi Bar ATX. If you guys live in Austin and you've been, you know how freaking good it is. And they were like, 
it's probably the best summer class day we've had. I'm already dreaming of like when I'll go back next, probably or for our anniversary maybe. But also we need to try other places because I feel like we're in like a lull of like the Austin food scene. Like we're just going back to the same places and there's literally a new bar, a new restaurant like almost every day or like if not two a week. So it definitely can be overwhelming, especially like you want to take your visitors to like the best spots, but there's so many good spots here, so it's hard to choose. So anyways, we're gonna go to Home Depot. Sophie is back at the house. She was very sad she couldn't come to this Home Depot trip. Honestly, sometimes you just gotta make it quick and go in and come back out. So we're gonna get this day started. I'm gonna move the fridge back to here. It's been in our little pantry room, laundry room, which is already pretty crowded with all the doors. Oh my God, I just realized that he took off the door, which is really smart. We'll probably leave it off for now. The floors are done in here, so we can finally move it back and not be so crowded in there. Oh shoot. There's like a cord underneath it, hold on. Can you pick it up somehow? I don't know. There we go, okay. You're good. Yeah. Ew, it's the water thing. It's like spilling. Okay, yeah, you just need to pick it up a little because it's like the wood floor is higher. What? Okay, okay, hold on. There we go, there we go. Almost the other side now. Oh my gosh, it sounds. Um. The pantry side. There we go, you're good. Yay. Okay. Mimo's working on the baseboards right now, but I was thinking I could help fill in the holes or the nail, the nails, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I need to stir. Maybe we can use this one for now. This piece. That's what we're using. This dry is white? Yeah, when it's dry, yeah. No, that's right, but the cream is a little hot, so. You need to take a little. You can put this a little tiny hole. What is that? That's like here. Any tiny hole, mm -hmm. that was like here, put it flat, push, and then you can clean a little with the wet rack or something. Paper oh, towel. I see. You so see? just like clean the rest of it. Yeah, exactly. Okay. That's I nice see. Okay. Like okay. Here. That's and easy that's enough. It. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at it. Okay. It's very easy. I can do this. Yeah. It took an hour and a half, but I'm done putting the putty in the little nail holes all around the first floor. What do you think, Sophie? Did I do a good job? Thank you. All right, Ryan's taking this stair molding off. I just really want it to be like sleek and flat. And honestly, no stair molding would be great. Literally just something to cover this part of the stair, like the top of the stair. I guess you have to do something about this part now. Really just something to cover this part. I just have it sleek. It already looks so much better with the molding off. Like if you back up and just imagine that there's actually sheet rock on top, compare it to this. We're in the primary closet and our next project is to install these wooden rods instead of these metal rods, because I think it'll just look more aesthetic. And so we just took it out of the packaging. We got this at Home Depot, but I think I want to stain it. At first I liked it, but now that I'm seeing it against the floors, I guess you can show, it should probably be stained a little bit. So I think we're going to do that before putting it up and installing it. So it's going to hold this rod and make sure it fits first, actually. Yeah. Okay. I got the cardboard all laid out because I'm gonna stain this pole. And I just decided to go with the stain that we're using on the steps to match, or the stair noses to match the steps. So we're using this one today. And I think I'm just gonna try to stain it as light as I can stain it, and then start from there. I can always build it on, so we'll see how this looks. Okay, I don't wanna like tilt it too much, but that's what the stain looks like in the container. And Mimo said a paper towel could do the job just to make sure it's dry.
We're setting up our ring doorbell, <laughs> featuring our horribly moldy pumpkins. <laughs> but we want to change it to like a trick or treat, um, like message or something. Play us one. Play, um, this one do you like? Ready? Trick or treat, snow or feet, leave a message. I like that one. Tell us what brings you here, or we'll put a spell on you. I don't like her voice. <laughs> You've just awoken the spirits that haunt this house. That's good too. Leave a message before it's too late. <laughs> just a minute. Feel free to park your broom. I'll be there, right there to eat. I mean, to greet you. Yeah. That's I'll be one. right there to eat. I mean, greet you. <laughs> if there's a knife football too. Um, is that the skinny one? Because you have to change that in the next. I know, it is. <laughs> this is the ring doorbell we got. We got the battery doorbell plus. <laughs> oh, yeah. Watch the board. Oh, yeah. uh, did you turn the board Ryan is setting up our fireplace thing. Miss Brenda got this for us at Sam's Club, right? Walmart, actually. Walmart? Yeah, it's like $50. $50? What the heck? Uh, I Dang. It is a very cold day, and it's only going to get colder, so. Like Perfect time to break this thing out inside of that. Job. Looks so good. Feels good. Hmm? It feels good. I wanted to quickly talk about a lot of the costs of all of this stuff, especially the flooring, because I just did not think it was going to be this expensive. I knew going into renovating a house this would happen that i would think it would just be you know this amount of money but it would be like probably somewhere close to a little under double and that's kind of what happened with these floors i think the cost of like the material of the floors totaled up to i can't remember if it was like nine thousand or twelve thousand but also we have like a bunch of empty boxes that we're gonna see if we can return so it could be a lot less than that i did get the planks on sale so i think the original price was somewhere around six dollars but they were on sale for like five dollars and 51 cents i believe there's a pretty big range of different flooring types you could get and even within those types just the range of you know the prices there i decided if i wanted to do the floors we'll just go big or go home and i feel like that's definitely going to be me during every little renovation phase of our house, which is probably not the best, but we're gonna work on it. Now let's talk about labor because this is where I was really shocked. I thought maybe it would cost like 2,000, max 3,000 to get someone to like come and lay the floors down. I was so, so wrong, you guys. It was painful learning that. Let me walk you through a cost breakdown of what I paid for it during the labor. Um, so the floor installation and labor was 4,000. Um, $200. Self-leveling labor was $396. Floor installation was $900. Um, the glue <laughs> was $1,500. And then we had to pay for miscellaneous material, which was $70. Bucks. So the total for just like the labor and materials for laying down the wood was $7,100. So yeah, I was not expecting that. I've seen so many TikToks where, especially that brand of flooring, Malibu Y planks, like you can DIY it, but I personally just did not trust myself to do it and like cut the perfect lines around the doors and all that stuff. I just wanted to get it done right the first time and like not waste any planks. Flooring guys really did a great job. And if you're in the Austin area, I believe they're located 
a little outside of Austin, but they did in my house. So if you guys want their information, DM me on Instagram. I will also link down below the exact color I got from Malibu Wide Plank. I definitely recommend checking them out. It was so hard to choose from all the samples I got because they were all really beautiful, but I'm really happy that we went with the Victoria French Oak. Now we need to figure out when we're going to move over there because we have our apartment till like December 6th and we want to move in by Thanksgiving or like a little before just so that when we go home, we won't have to worry about it when we come back from Thanksgiving. Um, so hopefully in the next few weeks, obviously I will vlog it all and keep you guys updated on Instagram and TikTok. So definitely go follow me over there. It's at so underscore gnarly without the G on both platforms. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of hesitant to move over there even though like I've always wanted a house, but something about it, like it's just so sad to like leave this apartment and just apartment life and city girl life. Something about being in this different area that we bought the house in is very different. So <laughs> it's a little bit more of like a suburb, obviously, but it's really not that much farther out. So I don't know why I'm being so dramatic right now. I'm also looking into some bathroom renovations and I did kind of want to try to get it started before we moved in, but I don't think that the timeline's going to work out the way I want it to. And I just don't want to rush anything because I really don't even know like what the vibe is for the bathroom. I just feel like I need to sit down and like really plan it out. There's just so many decisions that I'm making daily that it's just hard to add something else to my plate. And I feel like once all the flooring's done, all the baseboards are in, I'll want to, you know, start the next project. So I don't know if we'll start that in the new year or in December, but again, I'll keep you guys updated. If you guys aren't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and make sure that you subscribe and turn on your post notifications and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.